This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Coffin, World News Report today, June 8, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been nailed by what I believe is a much stronger than a 9.95 M flare. It was directly earth facing, and you can see what's hitting our actual Lasco C3 C2. To all of our ghost cameras and these only orbit a hundred or two hundred miles above Earth, whereas they tell us the sun is ninety three point three million miles away from Earth. Direct hit, and I knew it would be, as y'all did too. Let's watch it. Wow, what a huge explosion! Definitely. Came out of 3691, or 3697, excuse me, used to be 3664, a direct hit on Earth. Uh, it, those are protons and electrons. This is a big hit. They tried to pretend like it stopped at an M9.95 flare, but we saw our electrons and protons move so far over the space weather threshold further than we've ever seen them. Over to our goes proton flux, an historic day for me, guys. For me, we see our goes 1850 million volts come up into space weather threshold, and this is the closest I've ever seen. Any go, 16, 17, or 1800 million volts come right under the space weather threshold. This was a blast. It was directly headed towards Earth. Nothing they can say will change my mind, period. Again, this of course happened from our old friend 3697. Speed 3664 right here. Guys, we've got a lot of complex sunspots forming coming around the limb currently it's going to be two weeks from heck to say the very least so what i want to show you here guys is we've had an r2 radio blackout an s2 solar radiation storm impact and then a g2 a geomagnetic storm impact all within the last 24 hours all unpredicted all crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Again, this was a huge blast directly towards Earth. No M flare. I thought that it was cut off too conveniently at the M flare level, and that period went on too long, too levelly. Right now, we're in a huge proton storm with even. The 50 million volts coming through the space weather threshold here. Maybe my first time to ever see this. Let's look at that polar cap absorption event. Where radiation is pouring into the poles of Earth currently. It's currently 1 a.m. Central here in the U.S. And, well, so many people have already forgotten about the very strong influence we've had today. The one, two, three, right? And now we're actually going into a polar cap absorption that was what they call an M flare. I'm 99.9% .9 certain it was an X flare because it continued for the last, well, six hours. Six hours with a polar cap absorption event and a proton storm. With that said, it was an M9.95, right? Not an X20. Let's take a look one more time. That's right. I didn't catch this on Cactus 1 and Let's Go 2. 
Does that look like an M flare to you? God bless each and every one of you guys. We are being radiated to death. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarre world. God bless.